So in this question, we need to calculate the number of the moles of the HCl in 50 centimeter cube of the 5 mole uh, dm cube of the solution. So the first thing you have to find out uh, if the units are actually correct or not. So but they are not, so you have to convert it. So it becomes 50 over 1000 equals to 0 0.05 dm cube. After that, you can 0 0.05 times 5, which is the concentration of the solution. This is the concentration. This is the volume. It becomes 0 0.25 moles. So in this question, you have the equation, which is the PBA and O32 plus 2HCl, it gives PBCl2 plus 2H and O3. So uh, here it's asking us if we have 0 0.35 mole of the PB and O3, uh, which is reacting with the 100 centimeter cube of the HCl, find the concentration of the HCl uh, in mole per dm cube. So you have to find the concentration of the acid. This one, the concentration of this one, we have to find out. And what is given to us is the number of the moles of the this one, 0 0.35 mole, which is given to us. And also the volume of the acid is also given. Volume is 100 centimeter cube. The first thing that you need to check about the units are the standard units? If they are not, you have to do the conversion. So we convert first. We convert the volume of the acid is not actually standard. So it becomes 100 divided by 1000 equals to 0 0.1 dm cube. In the step two, you have to find the mole ratios. For each one PB and O3, we have two molecules of HCl. So the ratio, the mole ratio is uh, 1 to 2. So if it is so, so we have to do this. It means that 0 0.35, which is the uh, num uh, number of the moles of the PB and O3, should be actually doubled, which is um, uh, times 2. We will have it give us the number of the moles of the HCl now, mole of HCl. And after that, in step three, you need to find the number of the moles of the, so in the step three, we have 0 0.7 over 0 0.1. This is number of the moles of the HCl divided by 0 0.1, which is its volume equals to seven moles. Seven mole per dm cube. This is the concentration. So we have the concentration of the HCl hydrochloric acid. So <clears throat> when we have combustion reaction, um, one example asking us that there is a compound which consists of the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And it is actually um, this much of it, 3.765 gram of it is combusted and produces 8.272 grams of carbon dioxide and also 4.515 gram of water. And the first of all, it's asking us to calculate and find out the empirical formula of the compound. And so I just write down that if this actually unknown compound is actually composted, so I do not know how many carbon it has in the molecule, how many hydrogen, how many oxygen, so I just put these symbols here, plus oxygen, which is O2, it produces CO2 plus water. This is what I know. So all carbon in the CO2, as you can see, comes from the this one. All the carbon is coming from the this compound. And all the hydrogen that you see also comes from the compound. But the oxygen, the oxygen that is produced here, okay, all the oxygen in the CO2 and also H2O. Or both coming from the both compound, unknown compound, and the oxygen in the air. 
So first, you have to find out the moles of the carbon and the moles of the hydrogen. So first, you have to find the grams of each. So we have the mass of the molecular well, mass of the CO uh, of the carbon here, CO two, and becomes. 8.272 over 44.01. Um, if you do the calculation, it becomes 0 0.188 mole. And because each CO2, each CO2 carbon dioxide has one mole carbon, this is the mole ratio inside the molecule of the CO2. So what you have to do is 0 0.188 times 1 equals to 0 0.188 moles of carbon. Now we have to know how many grams it is. We have to convert to grams. So we have to say that this much mole of the carbon times 12.01 gram of each atom of the carbon equals to 2.257 grams of the carbon. Now look at the hydrogen in the H2O. So we have 4.515 grams of the H2O divided by 18.01 is the molecular mass. The molar ratio is 1, 2, is 1 and 2. Um, so it means it should be times 2 to find actually the exact moles, number of the moles of the hydrogen into one H2O molecule. But after that, we should bear in mind that the moles of the hydrogen should be actually converted into the gram of the hydrogen which is equal, which each mole equals to 1.008 grams. So it should be times that one to find out how many grams of the hydrogen actually we have. The grams of the hydrogen becomes 0 0.5052. Now, mass of the compound, the mass of the compound will be mass of compound will be 3.765 grams minus 2.257 and 0.5052 equals to 1.0028 grams of oxygen. So this much grams of the oxygen we have as we said, by knowing the mass of the compound, which is 3.765 grams, and we deduct this too, which is the mass of the hydrogen, and the carbon from it, we can have the mass of oxygen. At the next step, we have to find the mole of each of the elements. So we got mole of carbon, which is equals to 257 grams of it divided by 12.01, which is the uh, atomic mass, equals to 0 0.1879 moles of the carbon. And also for the hydrogen number of the moles will be 0 0.5052 grams per mole over 1.008 grams which is equal to 0 0.5012 moles of the hydrogen. For the next one, which is oxygen, we have 1.0028 grams over 16 atomic mass, equals to 0 0.06268 moles of the oxygen. <clears throat> so now we have to divide by the lowest each one to find out the mole ratio. So for the first one, which is the carbon, if we divide the mole, actually divide by the lowest, which is 0 0.06268, all of them, the mole of this one, the answer for this one will be 3, this one will be 8, and this one for the oxygen will have 1. So 
the formula will be C3 empirical formula H8 oh one because one we don't write no need to write so um, now if uh, in the next part of the question is that you have to find out the actually <clears throat> the molecular formula if the uh, molecular mass is 300 uh, point 47 so the first thing that you have to do we say okay they the formula was uh, c3 h8 o so i have to find out the mass of this one this molecule first so it becomes 3 12.01 plus 8 times 1.008 and plus 16 the answer will be the, mol the molar mass will be 60.094 gram per mole. Now, we know that the formula is this. So, if the molar mass is 300.47 grams per mole, this much of the, actually, sorry, if this much gram, or this, this is the mass of the, uh, this compound. So how much is the actually, what is the formula? So what we have to do is that, so this one, this much mass in grams, divided by 60.094 gram, which is the molecular mass, which is just, we got it, we just calculated, equals to five mole. So this five mole of this we have, so it means that we have to, times each of the numbers by five. Five, five, five. So it becomes C15, 8, 40, oh, 5. This is the formula of the compound. So, Hello everybody again, and I'm Miss Caroline, and today again we continue with the um, uh, how to deduce the empirical and molecular formula by using the mass uh, given or um, maybe the percentage given and all these uh, topic. And we continue by uh, knowing actually what the, uh, f first the empirical formula is and what the molecular formula is. We have empirical formula. of the compounds. In the empirical formula, the formula that amounts uh, to the simplest ratio of the different atoms, simplest ratio of the different atoms of the different atoms Uh, of each type of atom, uh, different atoms present in the molecule, present in a molecule. And uh, the other one, the example that I can say about the molecular formula, in the molecular formula of the compound is that the formula that amounts to the actual numbers of each type of atom present in a molecule amounts to actual numbers of each type of the atom present in a molecule. So, these are the definition of it. The example that I can give you is hydrogen peroxide, that the empirical formula is H and O, but the molecular formula is H2O2. So, this is the simplest form that you write uh, a formula of the compound, but this one is exactly how many uh, atoms of each of the type of the uh, elements are inside it. 
Well, for example, if they, some, there are sometimes that they are they give us the masses of each element present in a sample of a compound available, then I ask you to deduce the empirical formula of it. Okay, so deduce, for example, uh, deduce the formula of the magnesium oxide. And they ask you to deduce the formula of the magnesium oxide if there are, for example, 0 0.486 grams of magnesium burning in excess oxygen producing 0.0. It's uh, oh, 06 grams of magnesium oxide. So what you have to do, first we write down the formula, the equation, and make sure that the equation is all balanced. So Mg, o, Mg plus O2 oxygen, it gives magnesium oxide. So O2 oxygen is always the atomic, so you have to write O2. And magnesium also is uh, just Mg. But the, we know that how much magnesium is actually reacting. So 0 0.486 grams of it uh, plus excess oxygen. And excess oxygen, this is the, uh, this, is, this one is the limiting uh, actually reactant, and this one is the excess reactant. And this one will give us 0 0.806 uh, grams of magnesium oxide. So what we have to do to find out the, the mass of the oxygen, so it becomes uh, 0 0.806 minus 0 0.486. This two equals to 0 0.320 grams of the oxygen mass is here. So now, uh, the thing that we have to find out is that we have the, um, the, the relative atomic masses of the magnesium, uh, the relative, relative ma atomic mass of the magnesium. You can just uh, find it in the, atom, uh, in the periodic table. So it's Mg equals to 24.3, 24.3, and the relative atomic mass of the oxygen also is 16. So by knowing this, we find out the mole ratio between the uh, magnesium and the oxygen. How to find this out? You know that the, this is the formula, so N equals to, this is the mass over the molecular mass or atomic mass. Here we have atomic mass, so I just write atomic mass. So we know the grams of H. For example, if you want to calculate the moles of the uh, Mg, so the number of the moles for Mg becomes 0 0.4886 grams over 24.3, which is the uh, relative atomic number, atomic mass, so it becomes the answer is 0 0.0200 mole of Magnesium for the oxygen for the oxygen it will be mole of the O2 oxygen equals to 0 0.0 0 0.320 over 16 equals to 0 0.0200 moles of the oxygen. So this is not a whole number. We have to change it to a whole number. The ratio but the, because the both numbers are the same, if I divide them by the smallest number, it becomes the same. So the answer is 1, for this one is 1. So the ratio, mole ratio is 1, 1. When we have one mole of the magnesium, we will have one mole of the oxygen. So this is the formula of the magnesium oxide. One mole magnesium and one mole oxygen, they react together. So let me show you another example. For example, in this one, in this question, we have when we have 1.55 gram of the phosphorus is combusted completely, um, it produces 3.55 gram of an phosphorus oxide. So we do not know the phosphorus oxide actually, the formula. So that's what we want to calculate. And the only thing that we have is are the masses are given. 
And uh, they also, we have atomic mass of the oxygen and the phosphorus. You can find them from the periodic table. So for oxygen is 16, for phosphorus is 31. So at the first step, you have to find out the mass of the each element which is given. So for the phosphorus, we already know is 1.55 grams. And for the oxygen, uh, we have the phosphorus oxide. So you easily 3.55 minus 1.55 we will have the mass of the oxygen, which is two grams. So, and the next step, you have to divide by atomic masses to find the moles. So it means that N equals two M over uh, atomic mass. So for each of them, uh, it will become for the, uh, for the phosphorus, it will be uh, 1.55 over 31 M equals two, uh, 0.05 mole, and for the oxygen, it will be uh, 200 divided by 16, which becomes 0.125 mole. So you see that the number of the moles, one of them is uh, 0.05 and the other one, this one. So if you divide them by the smallest number, what you get for the phosphorus, Phosphorus will become one, and the oxygen will become uh, become becomes two point five. So it's still or not a whole number. We continue. If I like times two, and this one times two, so this one becomes two, and this one the answer will be five. So the mole ratios become P two and O five. So this is how I write the formula. P2 or 5. So this is the formula, uh, molecular formula of the uh, phosphorus oxide. Another question we have, which is 7.8 gram of a hydrocarbon has, uh, it contains 0 0.6 grams of hydrogen with um, its molecular mass is 78. You have to find out actually its molecular formula. So we know that the hydrocarbon is made of the carbon and hydrogen, but we do not know the, uh, how many uh, um, actually atoms of each. So what we, uh, the first step we have to do is you have to find the carbon mass. So it becomes 7.8 minus 0 0.6 grams here. So it will become 7.2 grams, which is the carbon mass. And after, after that, you have to find out how many carbon atoms. So you need to find out the, uh, the, mole, the mole of each. So uh, you have the, uh, the mole becomes like the mass number over the uh, atomic, uh, actually mass or molecular mass. So here what we have is for the, uh, for example, 7.2 grams of the carbon we have 7.2 gram of carbon over its atomic mass uh, is 12. So the mole actually, how many moles of the carbon we have is around 0 0.6 mole of the carbon and uh, for the carbon. And for the hydrogen, if we want the number of the moles for the hydrogen will be mass over atomic number, atomic mass. So it becomes 0 0.6 over one, which is the atomic mass of the hydrogen, which becomes 0 0.6 mole of hydrogen. So you see the mole ratio of these two is 1, 1, the same amount of the hydrogen and a carbon. So it's 1, 1. So how you write actually the empirical formula? So the empirical formula, the empirical one, will be uh, CH because C1H1, but the thing is that we still do not know the molecular mass, but molecular, but the molecular, the molecular mass, sorry, molecular formula. So molecular mass is given, uh, which is 78, 78. So by knowing the molecular mass, and you can easily find out uh, that how, 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 how I should like to deduce the molecular formula. So it becomes, uh, we have the C and H, so each of them 
if I want to find out this one becomes 12 plus one equals to 13. Sorry, this is the mass number. The mass is this much gram mass. Um, so, so it becomes 13. So now I substitute it becomes 78 over 13, which is the molecular mass over, equals to six. So it means that each one should be times by six. So it becomes, we have six carbon and six hydrogen. So this will be the actual, uh, actually the molecular formula for this hydrocarbon. If the person composition is given to you, actually this is how you have to find out the, uh, that is wanted from you. So can find the empirical formula. So if, for example, if they have given the another one, another example, the percentage of each of the uh, atoms or in a compound, and they ask you to find out first the empirical formula and then the molecular formula. So in this example, this is how you have to work out the uh, question. So a compound made of 52.14 percent of the carbon, hydrogen is 13.30 percent, and the percentage of the oxygen in the compound is 34.73 percent. So first, you have to find out the empirical formula, and after that, you have to find the mol if the molar mass is 138.2 or 4 gram per mole, so you have to work out the uh, molecular formula. So first we write the percentage of each. And in, you remember that when we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, this is how we have to write the in order. So first, first comes carbon, then hydrogen, and then oxygen. It means that the formula should be CHO, but we do not know how many carbon, how many hydrogen, how many oxygen we have to put in. So we write the percentage of it first and divide it by the um, the atomic actually mass. So the atomic mass for the carbon is 12, so divided by 12. And then for the hydrogen should be divided by one, and for oxygen divided by 16. So for each of them, this one will be 4.34 uh, moles. And for this one, the moles will be um, 13.13. 13, 13, and for this one is 2. 0.17 moles. As you can see, the moles are not equal, so we have to divide them by the smallest number, which is 2.17. 2.17 and 2.17. So the number of the moles for oxygen becomes 1. For hydrogen will be 6, and for the carbon will be 2. So it means that the empirical formula will be C2H6 and O1. But now we have to, by knowing the uh, molar mass, which is given to us, it says now you work out the molecular formula. So the mass of this one, this molecule actually C2H6 O1, I want, so if I want to calculate the amount of mole of it, so it becomes like becomes two times 16 plus six times one plus one times 16, which is the uh, relative atomic mass of the oxygen. So at the end, it should be divided by that number which is given to us. And so it means that N equals to M over uh, MR, so this one equals to the mass which is given to us is 138.204 gram per mole, and on the lower, the answer should be for this one is 46.068, so I put this one on there, becomes 46.608, and the answer, the number of the mole will be three, so it means that I have to multiply each by uh, each of the uh, numbers by three so it becomes C two times three and H six times three and O one times three so the answer will be C six H 
eighteen four three.